Hi, I'm Nadia McLeod from RPM Legal Kits. We help you to cut your legal costs with our online template kits. There are a lot of myths surrounding de facto separation and divorce in Australia. One is that the assets are split 50-50 between the parties. The fact is, there is no set percentage split ratio that separating couples should use when dividing the assets and liabilities after a relationship breaks down. Each situation is unique and based on individual circumstances. But even though there is no set ratio, the Family Law Act sets out a process to determine how assets and liabilities should be split. The courts and lawyers use this process to determine the proportion of the asset pool that each party will receive. The four steps for determining a property settlement are identifying the property pool, considering the contributions of the parties, considering the future needs of the parties, deciding on a fair division based on the circumstances. Once you have completed this process, you can formalise your agreement by way of a binding financial agreement, which can be made between the parties privately without the involvement of the court, or consent orders. Let's take a quick look at the first step, identifying the property pool. In order to complete the property division process, you must start with an accurate breakdown of the assets and liabilities. To do this, both parties must make full disclosure of all assets and liabilities. Hiding or not disclosing the full extent of assets is classed as a type of fraud under the Family Law Act. So what assets do I need to disclose? Disclosure needs to be made as of the date you are making your agreement or consent orders, not the date of separation as some people mistakenly believe. This includes assets and liabilities currently held in your joint names, assets and liabilities currently held in your sole name only or your partner's sole name only, assets that you brought into the relationship, assets accumulated during the relationship, Assets accumulated after the separation up until the date you make your agreement and or consent orders. So if you've opened a separate account in your sole name after separation into which you've been just transferring funds, you need to disclose it. For a full list of the types of assets and liabilities that you need to disclose, go to our blog article, Myth of the 50-50 Split at Peaceful Path. .com.au. See the full link below in the video description.